Good afternoon, good morning, all of you lovely lot. Today, uh, I get to show you guys what I'm kind of most known for in tattooing, which is cover-ups. People with old tattoos, they don't want any more, and me giving them a fresh lease of life on these things. I've got a new client. Uh, it's just going to be a really, really fun day. It's a really cool project as well that I'm super excited for. So I'm going to stop talking, get to the studio, and get to work. I'll see you guys there. And we are back in the studio. Today's client is Griff. Griff is a new client to me, but he is much more my typical type of client. Most of my clients are cover-up clients, where we uh, take an old tattoo, cover it with a new tattoo. Most people assume with cover-ups that you're just covering up like partner's names and dodgy tattoos done in sheds and stuff like that. No, you're mostly covering old tattoos um, when it comes to the cover-up trade because tattoos last forever. And if you had something done 20 years ago, it might not be the kind of thing that you're into now. Obviously, tattoo techniques have come a long way in 20 years or 10 years or you know even the last five years, equipment's got a lot better. So as time moves on, tattooing moves on and stuff like that. So because of that, I'm most booked up and most busy with the cover-up side of things, which I'm really looking forward to showing you guys. I'm gonna do a whole video as the channel goes on about cover-ups, how they work, what to expect, kind of where to set your expectations, that kind of thing. Um, but this one today is covering um, some old Japanese stuff that's not been tattooed that great with some newer Japanese stuff, um, namely a Japanese traditional mask today. And yeah, it should be a really fun project. Griff seems like a really nice guy. He's, he's one of these clients, and I get this a lot, and if any of my clients see this, I love you for it, but you don't need to. Whenever anyone messages um, reference, and then they send some more reference before their appointment, and then they send some more, they start apologizing. You don't need to apologize for sending your tattoo as reference. It's absolutely fine. Griff's been doing this with me. It's really sweet. Um, feel free to send any reference over guys if you're booked in it's absolutely fine but um yeah it's his first tattoo with me i'm looking forward because we've got two whole sleeves to get rid of plus some stuff i believe on his back and chest as well so he's going to be uh, quite the ongoing client um yeah this is session one on griff's japanese cover-up project i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you on the time lapse there's the old tattoo that we are about to murder and we are getting a nice big demon head over it. Big and bold is kind of the way that I go with most of my work in a style I like to call 10 yard tattooing. If you can see what it is from 10 yards away, I class it as a victory. So we've gone as big as we can for this just to fill out the space. I'm not a big fan of trying to cram loads of tiny little pieces in to build a Japanese sleeve. I am much more one big focal point on each visible part of the arm, so yeah. Because it's going big and bold, we went massive with the line work, really thick, really bold lines, and the solid black that is in this piece has a lot of um, kind of harsh edges to it. Really want to build as much contrast as possible. It is scary when you first start doing cover-ups, putting more black into something that is already dark, but the ink's a better quality now, and it will hold better over time, and it's just gonna eat up what's underneath. And when you're putting your colors next to it, you're gonna have a nice, bright, vibrant kind of contrast right next to it. And the more contrast you've got, the more it's gonna distract from what is underneath. Because if any little bits of the old tattoo come through, if you've got a lot of different focal points and contrast points, you're not gonna see them, which is kind of the point when it comes to cover-ups. Now, what we were doing here is I was discussing with Griff what colors would suit best and I was laying out my colors. I have no idea why I didn't stop the time lapse here. Well, I have a bit of an idea. I'm not very good at recording time lapses. That seems to be a general thing throughout my entire 21 year career. But anyway, so we'll start again in a minute. This is just us chin wagging, but I lay down a purple layer first. I lay, um, there's different ways that you can blend reds. You can go a lot of different dark to light kind of blends work. I, for some reason, when I'm doing Japanese stuff, like the more muted purple to red blend, I don't know why, it's just something that I've settled into over time. And I do find that a uh, magentary purple, pinky, kind of mid-tony color does really work um, for cover-ups. Again, it's just something that I have discovered over time. There's no real logic to the color theory here. It's just something that I've always done. So we just stuck with it, basically. 
So I lay down all my purple before we start laying in the red. The red's going directly over this. I tend to whip out just a little bit at the edges, but nothing too major. I don't go for these massive long sweeping blends when it comes to cover up work, largely because the, that harsh contrast in the blends, those short blends, really again help distracting from what's underneath. I'll usually go for a red with a fair bit of white in it. I don't go too dark when it comes to cover-ups because the red is kind of my pop color. I do put a fair bit of white in this tattoo as well, which I am quite happy to say I did not record. So you will see the end result and there seems to be a whole stage skipped because I'm really bad at recording stuff. I am so sorry. But yeah, this uh, the red layer goes in, we get a little bit of greeny tone in and then magically, the tattoo's finished. There we go. Sorry guys, I'm working on it. But anyway, we get our foamy reveal and it gives you an idea of what is there. And if you go back, there was nothing that you can see of the old tattoo and that's kind of a point of a cover up. Griff's an absolute legend and I really enjoyed this piece. And now I'll see you guys in the office. And that is another working day done. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, I really enjoyed that one. That is the kind of tattoo I live for. Griff was a really cool dude as well. Um, it was nice to be able to talk to someone that's got a lot of time spent in older studios. When I started 20 years ago, it was a very different industry and to be able to talk to someone that had stories to match my own and to kind of, kind of bounce stuff off uh, from back in the day. Um, it was really cool. It was really cool, it was a lot of fun. I had a great day at work today, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you wanna see anything different, please leave it in the comments below. I would love as much feedback as possible. And obviously it's YouTube, so I've got to ask if you could like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Thank you guys, stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.